First of all, it's not my fucking birthday. And welcome to the hashtag number one non shilling game podcast, you dumb fucks. Pup putt's a piece of shit. Finish the story, Moz. You gotta finish the story. <laughs> I've actually finished. <laughs> Crazy what? I have finished Putt Putt twice today. How many games did you play? No, one. Guess what? Fin- so yeah. yesterday, my PC needed an update. Like yesterday night, I updated it. You know when you update it and you gotta reset it, it turns off your fucking microphone on OBS. So I've done that. I've done 45 minutes of the session, <laughs> no fucking audio, and then I'm like, I won't go to fucking edit the cunt. Oh wait, this is, I'm, wait, I'm talking there. Why can I not hear myself? And then I go back and I have to. Oh fuck. Uh. Uh, Miss J, good morning, Miss J. It's not a um game thing. It's his mic. Yeah. <laughs> but lol. Finish yes, the story boys, girls, a second time, Mark. You gotta finish the story a second time. Over on the Gronk Squad channel, the Putt Putt Week has officially begun. Seven days of Putt Putt. So that's a total of six videos starting today. We're going to have Putt Putt Episode 2, and he's going to finish all of them right through till next Friday. But yes, Putt Putt Week is here. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Friday mini morning Gronken. And um, yeah, I hope no one's a fan of that new Vegas video game, that extremely popular, well beloved one. I hope no one Holy likes shit. it. <laughs> I hope no one likes it. Todd told me it sucks. Todd, Todd, um, Todd did some Todd shit. Good to see you, everybody. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Bitch, slap that thumbs up button. Get it as blue as those Cortana ovaries we all want to embrace. I want to give a huge thank you to the channel members, the gifted members, all that type of shit. You guys literally keep this whole fucking thing going. You absolute fucking Mac daddies. Thank you. But that brings us to Raymond Sandstorm. Hello. No, I'm Buck Owens now. How's it going? <laughs> Buck Owens. <laughs> oh, I wasted so, I wasted nine hours watching the Fallout show. Well, we're going to get into one of the big things about that show. Glad that that brings us also to It's the Moz. Or Mozar. I have had probably one of the worst nights of my fucking life. Oh, by the way, happy birthday, man. <laughs> while happy I was birthday. watching, while I was playing, sorry, not watching, putt putt, I was getting DMs saying happy birthday. I found out fucking Vegas is no longer fucking canon. Um, OJ died. I don't even, I didn't even know who the fuck that was. Um, mm. And fucking, you know, it's... It's a fucking hard knock life, isn't it? What's wrong with you? I you fucking know, hate you. You know, I'm joking about that. That's my fucking problem. I fucking hate hey, you. Hey, Moz, I can't talk right now. Sorry. I'm yeah, busy. Sorry, I'm, I'm busy, Moz. Happy birthday. Like, everyone, I wish Moz were a happy birthday. Uh, Mr. Tex with the $2 super chat. Thank you very much, Mr. Tex. To Moz's Stalker 2. Now say this. Say it, Moz. Temu Salomon. Yeah, spot on. Thank you very much, Mr. Tex. 
And everyone be sure to wish Mozart a happy fucking birthday. Did G'day, I Giles. yesterday's joke? Ah, it's your birthday, Moz. Uh, Tris. G'day, Tris. Oh, of course, Miss J is here. Yeah, it's uh, if I can sit boys. me, sit me. Subhuman, what, what up, subhuman? Vex is here. P dub pop pop week begins. Fucking boss hog up in this bitch yeah, calling you a part time mm. having ass. Yeah, it's calling you a part time having ass. Valerie, I'm, hello, Valerie. G'day, time. Gravy. I hope you're doing well, Gravy. You're a full time uh, butt, 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 bitch. Was that? What up, was? Tris, hello, Tris. Leave her alone. Crimson, wait, it's Moz's birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday, Moz. Uh, Clemson, good day, Clemson. Hope you're doing well. Oh, Lord, they coming. Mmm. Uh, Trey's here. Good day, Trey. Last toxic motherfucking male. The lovely Miss Martin Musis. Hello, Miss Martin Musis. I saw fucking Boss Hogs bitch ass again. Uh, B Hamilton, bro. Fuck Bethesda. Oh, the salt is real from Todd. Todd might be the definitive mm. salt lord. Dude. Um, Sandro. Good day, Sandro. Fuck Tony Khan, says Tyler. I'm making my first video soon on that cokehead, Tony. <laughs> yes. That's well, no. you've been saying fuck him for like five fucking years. We, um, yeah. And, and we need more WWE streamers and shit. So, yeah. We do. do. Roderick, good day, Roderick. Um, so what the fuck is going on? Well, basically, my dick gets bigger. Uh, Seth Seth. Off. happy birthday, Moz. Yeah, happy birthday, Mozza. I'm gonna kick you in the dick. Hamilton, what up, B Hamilton? All right, so should we just go ahead and just fucking start with this fucking nuke part of the yeah. fucking, fucking nuke that went off? Right, yeah. so the Fallout show is out. I haven't had a chance to see it yet. I normally watch all these types of shows on my laptops because this thing's got more fucking diseases than a fucking starving African kid, right? Mm. So I don't care oh, about getting get Moz. So I don't care about using it to get a lot of shows, but at the moment it's been kind of acting up a little bit, probably because I've been using it like a fucking infected African kid for the past five fucking years, okay? So I don't think there's much left in this. So I haven't had a chance to see it yet. Cream has watched the whole thing. I've seen bits and pieces here and there. And let me just tell you how it played out for me. The first episodes, people were saying, hey, this is actually kind of good. Apparently the intro is really good. And it's got some cringe, you know, whatever. But for the most part, it seems okay until you get to like the second half of the show. And then it's, woo! I would say the last three episodes. The last three episodes. It's mm. bad. It all goes bad. Right, right. You've seen the whole thing. How much have you seen, Moz? One and a half episodes. One and a um, half episodes. One and a half yeah. episodes. All right. Now, I think when it comes to the Fallout franchise, most people say New Vegas is the best one. I'm one of them. Moz, where do you rate it? Do you say it's the best one? Yeah, it's either three or Vegas. It's either okay. three. Like, those are the two goods. Cream? I can't decide between the two still. Yeah, okay, I, love, it, I love it, both it, of them so much. Like, yeah, both and they're also so different. Fantastic. It's it's you're a vault dweller, yeah. and now you're just the random oh, guy. I think right? it's fair to say it. that vast majority of people will say Vegas is the best one. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Like, Vegas is definitely the most popular one. So the Fallout show comes out. It fixes one of the immediate mistakes that the Halo show made. The Halo show was non-canon. But the plus, the plus side to it being non-canon is a lot of the thousands of mistakes that the Halo show made was it didn't affect real Halo because it's not canon. Yeah. Whereas the Fallout show is canon. Okay? Yeah. Well, before we get into what actually happened, Cream, do you want to get, tell us just a little about the show to set the stage? Uh, Yeah. So, effectively, it takes place in California. It takes place after all of the fallout games okay right. so this is it's After canon Fallout 4. it takes place almost at the year uh 2300 you're mm -hmm. like two or three years off from that so it's after new vegas it's after fallout 3 oh you liked it really up, up I, until I, towards the end i i think and you're, a, you're a big big fallout guy i love fallout uh I think it is both better and worse than the Halo show. It's better because it gets all the little things right, right? It yep. looks like a Fallout show. 
it feels like a fallout show for the most part um there's a couple cringe jokes but there's even some funny ones uh and ones that feel part of the series like um the soundtrack dude the soundtrack is fucking great they take stuff mm. from the games yeah they actually and put it in and and so there's that it, it it's a different story there's there's some different things going on that could work really well and um and then basically it makes uh new vegas not canon yeah it basically says Dude. new vegas uh didn't happen at least in the way it happens in the games even though apparently this is also can't like it's yeah okay so we do see new vegas in the show this is during the credits i believe right but there's also another image that i should bring up as well so this is essentially what happened so this account tweets out, I am learning that the Fallout TV show retcons, uh, retcon shit and had New Vegas nuked while saying the NCR is from LA rather than Shady Sands. Mm -hmm. Now, you only have to play New Vegas to know that the NCR comes from Shady Sands. Now, I believe there is yeah. actually an image of Shady Sands that I'm going to bring up. But does Vegas actually get nuked? No. No, Shady Sands gets nuked. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. It gets nuked the same time Fallout 3 happens. So in there, it shows the timeline of what happened to the NCR, which, spoiler alert, the NCR is basically just a raider gang, and it's a couple of them, and they're held up in the uh, Griffith uh, Observatory. You know that giant one that's in the Hollywood Hills? That's where the NCR is. They're just in an observatory held out there. But yeah, this is, this is the capital of the ncr which got nuked before vegas which effectively means the ncr wasn't really a thing for new vegas even though they were so the whole point of hoover dam is to supply electricity but if shady sands has been nuked where the fuck are they electric sending electricity to yeah and, and they have not only that, then. i will spoil this the entire. Oh, sorry. Before you, do, before you do that, before you do it, chat. There will be hardcore spoilers. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Obviously, um, if you want to dip, I understand. Five, four, three, two, tactical nuke incoming. Go for it. So one of the side things in the show is actually about the NCR needing energy. What is it? A renewable source of energy, and they get it. Uh, but then everybody dies, so it doesn't really matter. The NCR is dead. By the way, end of the show, there's probably like four NCR guys left, maybe. They entirely get wiped out by the Brotherhood of Steel. Well, that's the next question. You know? We're looking at Shady Sands being destroyed, and obviously you're saying this takes place before New Vegas, which makes New Vegas kind of impossible to happen. Okay? There's the another question, thing, too. The question we have is, well, who did this? Who destroyed the NCR? Was it Caesar's Legion? Was it the Enclave? Was it the Brotherhood of Steel? Who destroyed? No. Now, let's think about when you think of the most powerful forces in Fallout, you have to put the NCR up damn near up the top of your list, man. Who yeah. could be such a threat that they could take out both the NCR and nuke Shady Sands? I'll tell you who. And it's one single human being. Not really, kind of is. Kyle McLaughlin. You know the main character's dad? Apparently, apparently fucking just nukes the place. Oh, and Vault Tech. Yeah, Vault, Vault Tech are the bad guys in the show. They're the villains. Vault Tech. Okay, well, so 200, years or so, 200 yeah. years or so after the bombs have dropped that sets off the, the whole post apocalyptic world that we all know and love. Vault Tech is still mm -hmm. around and has access to nukes. Yep. Oh, by the way, the main character. So it's it's not a spoiler. This part right here first. Walton Goggins' character was alive during the bombings, became a ghoul, and he's been alive this entire time, right? Okay, so he's a Here's pre war a ghoul. Yeah, exactly. Here's a spoiler. His wife worked for Vault Tech, and her assistant was the father of our main character, who then was cryogenically frozen in a neighboring vault to the one she grew up in, and then was 
then came out of cryogenic freezing for a breeding experiment. Basically, they want a breeding experiment. So basically, all the Vault Tech executives froze themselves mm -hmm. and then would come out and selectively breed, live their lives, die in order to basically make like a management Aryan race. So okay. yeah, so he's actually like 200 years old. Okay. And he killed her mother. Yeah. But okay. not technically, because her mother is a ghoul in the last episode. She kills her mother. Okay. Does, it, does this make a lot of sense to everybody? No, I'm it lost. it didn't make sense to me, and I watched it. <laughs> I'm lost. I'm pretty lost. Okay, so... Now, it has been like a theory quite a while for a long time that vault -Tec orchestrated the nukings and all that type of shit because oh, there was the war. So now it's canon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's full so, on. Like, the, yeah, they nuked, they nuked everything on purpose. Yeah. So the whole, like, beef with, like, America, China, and the rest of yeah, the world. Yeah, that's just propaganda. No, they played, they basically, it's one of these things where they, they launched two nukes, and then be, they launched one at the U.S., one at China, which then made them retaliate against each other thinking it was each other who did it oh. i could have sworn for a while it was china did the first nuke yeah i thought it, that's I, originally I thought it what it was too. because they were losing the thing yeah. was that they were they lost they Anchorage, losing which you play in the fallout 3 dlc where you do that simulation <clears throat> yep okay yeah, they, so they, they changed, changed that. that so they changed they even wrote on some fallout 3 stuff well, okay dude they, they reckoned a lot yeah, uh, can you tell us a little bit about a certain character that's somehow alive 15 years later? So here's the thing. I got it wrong. So I it may just be a reference. Everyone's favorite dog, dog me. So the dog you find out in episode three, uh, there's a scientist guy who is integral to, he basically stored these, this infinite energy thing in the back of his neck. So the whole plot is... Basically, the journey is to get this infinite energy into cert some faction. The Enclave want it back. They've hired the ghoul to go get it. NCR wants it because the woman... Oh, spoiler. The woman who runs the NCR, also 200 years old, is not a ghoul. Figure that one out? I don't know. They don't explain it, Whoa. and she dies. So it's like the end. Uh, and the Brotherhood of Steel want it as well. So three groups are going after it, trying to find it. Our main characters are caught up in that. He stores it in the back of his neck, and at the same time, they're doing experiments on dogs. So he keeps one of the puppies, raises it. The dog kills another scientist. He runs off. They called the dog dog meat, but it, it it's one of those things where it's like, timeline-wise, it wouldn't match up. I think it's just a reference to follow it for, but it looks like like it's a, it's a German Shepherd, right? It's, it's the same type of dog. Well, yeah. the next thing, though, is uh, Fallout 2 and Fallout 3, significant damage is done to the Enclave. Significant. Well, New Vegas, there's only like five or six of them left. So what's up with the Enclave in this show? Oh, they're back. Yeah, they're they're fine. They're doing a bunch of stuff. It's all good. Yep. It's all Gucci. Yeah. Oh, you don't get to see anything they're doing, really, except for in like the opening 10 minutes of one episode. You just know that the scientists left the Enclave, and they want him back, and they've hired the ghoul. That's it. There's no there's no real explanation, and I, I don't think we'll ever see them again in the show, it looks like. Hmm. Right. Yep. So you're telling me that out of pure spite, Todd Howard, who is very much responsible for this show has just find it or found a way to get rid of new vegas yeah the the thing is though for season two they're they're doing their own vegas that's what their season two is going to be kind of like yep. about yeah the, you see vegas at the end yeah uh basically kyle mclaughlin's character who's the overseer of fault 33 and the main character's dad he escapes in power armor dude he escapes wow. in power armor and then like power armor walks through the desert without a helmet and sees New Vegas. What happened to that's like know, a moment and it cuts out. You know the remaster game that's been kind of talked about? 
What happens mm-hmm. if it's based on the new Vegas and not the old one? What happens if it's not like a remaster? It's kind of like a, it's a remaster. Oh, dude. Yeah. If they were gonna, I think if they were going to remaster or remake any games, it would be the old ones. Well, well they've, <laughs> they've been talking about doing Vegas and 3 for a long time now. Like, it's been kind uh, of... I, I, I hope not. I hope they... I don't think you need um, to, honestly. I think the two games are fine. Can, on like, PC, they're a bit... Uh, yeah, but you could fix. Yeah. You could do mod. You could just do graphic updates, but they run fine with mods even. So, I I don't see the point in doing it. But this show is, but dude, it it sucks because they lull you in with like all these things done well. Like me and Boz were talking about it. Like, I think we both agree the vault dwellers. I think actually are better in this than in the games. Like the vault yeah, because- dwellers actually have personality other than just walking around. You get yeah. a little bit more time to understand the vault dwellers, and you get a little bit more time with them, and, and so it makes sense. The 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 what the reason why I liked them a lot is because most of the time when we join them, right, like in four, they're already are dead, right, and three, they already opened up their vault, so they already know the harsh like out world, right, and they're a bit more tougher, a bit more gritty. You, you know what I mean? They're a bit more t- like tough. These ones. They've never actually opened like outside, so they're still stupid. You know what I mean? How how it's meant to be? Because most vault dwellers, they're just like sim yeah. characters. You know what I mean? So you get they're to basically see that. your assumption yeah. is that everyone's a fucking cannibal. It's like no, just like thirty yeah. percent of them are cannibals. Yeah, and they're like kind of retarded, almost kind of like they're too. In- they're really innocent. You know what I mean? They're just it, it, it's yeah, it's really good. Uh, yeah, like we do get also get a reference to Fallout One with the water chip being damaged. Yep. Yeah, we got that as a like a little joke reference, which I'm fine with stuff like that. Like, yeah, be like, oh, hey, that I like that in something that's not canon. The show shouldn't have been canon. My theory, which I said to Moz was, I think when the show was being made, they didn't think it was going to be canon. They thought that they were just making a show. And they would be allowed to adapt everything and kind of do their own story that is in the same vein as uh, Fallout. It, it it has the spirit of the games, but it's not connected. So they have a little bit more leeway. And I think that's what they were going for. And then Todd Howard decided to come out and say it was fucking canon, which he did yeah. like two months ago, I think. Yeah. And, and then so what? now it's you... canon. And now you've uncanonized vegas or you basically have you don't have a canon anymore because yeah, the well, two are on, conflicting on, on, honestly this is what i think todd made it canon for i, I gotta be honest yeah there's no other real reason to make it like well it hasn't really been a secret that bethesda doesn't like vegas because Dude, todd they put they put out fallout free like, yeah look what we just fucking did then obsidian comes along yeah. and goes yeah we can do it better mm. well and dude less- they had big, they had a huge beef with obsidian Remember, Obsidian oh, basically was was going to get a bonus. Okay, now this it's whole the, thing about the Metacritic score, there's so much conflicting information about that. There is, but let's be honest, Bethesda did screw over Obsidian some way, oh, some No denying that, no oh, yeah. denying it, that. But yeah. That whole bonus thing with the Metacritic score for Vegas, I really don't know what to believe with that. Yeah. I wouldn't put it past Bethesda, but like I said, there's conflicting information on that one. But everyone knows that they don't fucking like Vegas. Vegas kind of embarrassed them. They go, we can do what you can do, except we can do it better. Okay. So this is their opportunity to say, fuck you. I I wouldn't put it past Todd, man. I would not put it past Todd. It's so fucked too, because Obsidian is also a Microsoft studio now. Mmm. They're the same. They're part of the same company. Obsidian isn't like underneath uh it's not underneath bethesda but it is a microsoft game studio studio obsidian yeah but the thing is they're also making games like um uh, um them again and they're actually starting to fight again you can actually see it like they're making their own version of skyrim they made a better space fucking game um so they really fucking hate each other it's funny yeah fucking todd it just works Todd, it's Todd's just fucked up by worse. his rivals, man. Dude, it look, is, yeah. it is all bad. Yeah. Well, like, put it, uh, just to put it in perspective for you, they legitimately nuked 
Shady Sands. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's gone. They actually fucking nuked it. They got the oh, NC- your beautiful new Vegas NCR. Oh. You literally you literally see the NCR get like slaughtered in a final stand. The entire the Brotherhood of Steel. Hmm. In the last episode, <laughs> the final like big fight is the NCR just getting fucking slaughtered. Now the Brotherhood of Steel get fucked up too. Like it's a everyone gets fucked up. It's just the Brotherhood of Steel have way more resources to throw into it because the NCR are just held up in a fucking observatory. That's all. That's all they have. They're basically a raider gang that aren't necessarily like full on raiders. When this nuke goes off here, there goes your whole Vegas game. Yeah. That's, and it goes fun. off before Vegas, four years yeah. before New Vegas happens. Is there any mention of the Institute or Caesar's Legion? Nope. Nothing that I maybe like a little thing that I missed. Uh, nothing about Caesar's Legion. Um, and I don't remember anything about the Institute. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Well, it's been retconned. But it's the enclave's just... back, guys. Come on, there's we're so back. We here. got dog meat again. We got dog meat. Come on, lad. we got a second oh. dog meat. A separate dog meat. Come on, boy! Oh boy! All right, well, let's get, get the it. chat open, see what people are saying over here. Thank you for being here, boys and girls. The single greatest gaming talk fucking podcast on all of the internet. Uh, Sit me, Senpai, with the member message. Thank you very much, Simpy. It's a message for Moz. Do I have to read slot messages? Yes. Flezza. Flezza. Come this is fucking Spanish, come Spanish. Fucking complex, mozo. Okay, what does that mean, Sitmik? Tell me what that means. I'm assuming it's some fucking birthday shit. Because yeah, I think oh, it happy just birthday. means happy birthday. Can everyone in the chat say happy birthday, Moz, please? Yeah, Feliz Navidad, <laughs> Maza. I would, um, I, I just want to say a massive fuck you to the chat. <laughs> Extra zero. Moza says... I fucking hate this guy more than anyone now. Like, I genuinely, mm. I used to hate so much more people than just fucking extra dumb, right? But to- he's up there as, w- like, one of the dumbest cunts on planet Earth. Out of 7 billion people on Earth, he's one of the dumbest fucking dumb cunts, I reckon. Okay. And that's, that's fucked. How did you manage to do that, you piece of shit? Uh, Moses says, what, what, in pot, pot? Mm, say it again. <laughs> say it again, Moz. Moz says, what, what, in a putt pot? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Very mm-hmm. much, Moz. Thank you, Extra Zero. Uh, last Toxic Mail with the tour. Can you please read that one, Moz? Come on, Moz. Happy birthday to Moz and his double chin having ass. Thank you very much, Last Toxic Mail. Uh, extra, uh, sorry, I just read Extra Zero. Blue-Eyed Scorpio, thank you very much. I watched the whole thing under the impression it wasn't canon. Wasn't until I was reading Twitter that it crossed my mind, so I actually enjoyed the show. What do you think, Cream? Yeah, I mean, honestly, if it wasn't canon, I'd probably enjoy the show too. Even even if they did New Vegas differently than in the, and it's not canon, I can at least separate that and still be like, well, I have the game's canon, even if they do it impartially, right? With Halo, you can be like, the Halo show sucks, but Halo One, Two, Three, Reach. That's still there. And it's not affected by this show, really. Mm, With like this, this, now it is. Like, it's canon. They're saying it's canonized. They're saying, basically, that New Vegas is... Well, we don't no know, canon. fully. What What's with New Vegas? <laughs> the assumption is it's not canon. It can't be, if this is now crossing that out. It's put a big question mark, basically, in the series of what the fuck happens on the West Coast. Which is where basically, mm. basically like half the games are. Yeah, they're on yeah, the west yeah, yeah. coast, so you don't know what the fuck's going on there. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, most people I saw said they were really enjoying it, or not really enjoying it, but they were enjoying it. Yeah. Up until some of the big retcons, Wait, and you're like, nah. This, yeah. This is the thing. If it if it was even canon, and they just didn't do the retcons, I actually genuinely think it's a good show. Yeah. Oh yeah. If they if they had a 
if it honestly, if you didn't know it was it was canon and you watched it, yeah, I could see you enjoying it. I, I, when I stopped enjoying it is with the retcons because I knew it was canon. Mm-hmm. Uh, but even if they had to done it, I could have probably been like, that's a choice that maybe I didn't like, but overall still a good show. When it's canon yep. and now it affects these classic games, and they are classic games. Well, it, dude, it's uh, gone. Whole game's yeah. gone. It doesn't just affect it slightly. Whole one of the one of the greatest gone. games of the two thousands. Yeah. yeah, fuck it, it's gone. Gone, nuked. Yeah. Actually yeah. nuked. <laughs> they actually, actually used the nuke. Actually fucking nuked. They actually nuked Vegas, brother. The That's NCR, fun. one of the like coolest factions in gaming, gone. They're a bunch yeah. of. Bi- they're just fucking gone. Definitely one of the most powerful factions in Fallout as well. Ooh, you wouldn't know it by watching the show. Shit, because it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! But to, I not this makes it better. Seventy six kind of did a lot of fucking damage as well. Seventy six straight up just fucking put. That's like fucking. Yeah, the fucking things. vaults open. It's like Brotherhood's here. You're like, okie dokie. How? Yeah. What? Like it all cities and shit are built. Like the the thing from Fallout Three is just a year. What? Like only like what? Well, when when did they come out again in seventy six? Like it's only it's very early. Like it's not hundreds yeah, of years one, later. Yeah, it was only a hundred years. I don't. It was like ninety nine years after it yeah, happened. The bombs. Shit, yeah. But hoy, Todd Howard had something to say. There's not going to be an Elder Scrolls show. Thank oh, fuck. fuck it. Oh, like, fuck. Fuck. You, know, you know the Oblivion event where fucking that, that fuck, I can't remember his name. Which Daedric was it again? One of the Daedrics came and just fucking went ham. Yeah, don't worry. That's not getting nuked. So that's still canon. I'm okay. going to be honest. I think it's because Bethesda isn't sure what is canon in Elder Scrolls anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they fucking know. Yeah, that's true. Oh, thank you, Todd. Legitimately, thank you, Todd. I don't give us an Elder Scrolls show. What do you mean? This could be the next Game of Thrones, man. This is this could be lit. Next Game of Thrones. This could oh, be. Geez. You imagine Todd fucking making movies about fucking Elder Scrolls. That's good. Dude, if they did it right, it would be good, but they won't because Bethesda stepped in. Todd like, only it's does pretty, things right. I'm sorry. It it's not Amazon's fault that this show sucked. The Fallout show. I'm blaming that oh, squarely dude, that... on Bethesda. Oh, Bethesda Todd. had full sign off on the show. Like on the story, and like all the little things are done right. Mm-hmm. It's not like Dude. Halo where everything is fucking bad. Like yeah. that's obviously Paramount and Microsoft together working in unison to Cleveland steamer the fan base. <laughs> this one's just full on Todd. Yeah, no, no, dude, dude. That the the thing that fucks it up the most is what Todd added. Let's be honest. You know that motherfucker added it. Them nuking Vegas. I I always thought. Either in four, like when four was coming out, I was like, "Oh, dude!" I was like telling my friend, "I was like, dude, you watch. They're gonna make Vegas not canon somehow in this game." I thought maybe Fallout Five, because re- realistically, uh, Todd's not gonna be there when that game releases, but it'll be the last game that he had some input in, right? And b- what's yeah. a better way to go for Todd than fucking up uh, Vegas? It you know, just I mean? works. <laughs> it just works. Maybe like I always seen times the retcons. Yeah, is I it is it I- better than? Is it better than The Witcher? Yeah. Yeah. This show is actually oh, yeah. watchable. It's bad, but you can actually sit through it and watch it. You have to be a fucking sycophant to actually sit through and watch The Witcher. Well, the, so I've watched one and a half episodes, right? Halfway through episode two. You can actually go, wow, you can go, wow, this is Fallout. Like, there's not a, like, so far, there's one cringe moment that yeah. happens at the beginning of episode two where I'm like, okay, that's fucked and that's cringe. That's cringe. But you can kind of go past a couple cringe moments, right? And yeah. go, oh, that's just cringe. It doesn't it's, actually. It's Fallout. Cringe. It's just Fallout done badly once you get to the uh, last three episodes, really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe doesn't the this last show half. also kind of fuck over the Brotherhood? Like, yeah. their story doesn't make any sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, it's, just, it's it's dude. That's one thing we didn't even bring up is the Brotherhood being fucked up. Yeah, the Brotherhood's fucked too. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. They can't be around at that time with that armor as well. It, dude, the time doesn't make sense. So it takes place after everything else, apparently. 
This is what some uh, Emil fucking paraglider, the fucking retard who works. I call him Emil paraglider. Nos knows who I'm talking about. He, uh, if you don't know, he's a dev at Bethesda. He's worked on Starfield and Fallout 4 heavily. Yeah. Heavily. He was heavily involved in that. You know the change in dialogue system in Bethesda games? Yeah. He yeah. spearheaded that. And I think we can all agree that is one of the biggest negatives that Bethesda has gone through is that change in dialogue where basically it all means the same and there's no real consequences to any of your dialogue. That's him. He mm. so and he came out with basically the timeline. Now he's a guy at Bethesda. I think it's fair to say he's speaking on behalf of Bethesda, being like, this is where it happens. And it has the dates for stuff, right? It has like this date, this date, this date, this date. Because we know where most of the other games take place, right? We don't know, we don't know where the show took place. The show takes place after everything else. It's like 15 years after Fallout 3, like 10 or so, like over 10 years. No, it's like 15 years after Vegas it takes place. But, but the bombing the, takes place the, before Vegas. Before Vegas. So that's where there's the problem. So the Brotherhood of Steel is around at that time. But it, it, it's still fucked. Like, it, yeah, it's not good. They And I well, don't know if they're yeah. necessarily fully consistent on the timeline of the show either, to be fair. It's canon. But I think part of the confusion is they've given like three or four different times of where it's supposed to take place. Do you think they'll um there'll be enough backlash where they'll come out and be like, oh, okay, no canon. <laughs> uh, the show is not canon, or or do you think they'll they, be like, so, well, they'll pull the some they bullshit? It, uh... and go, no, 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 guys, that wasn't shady. We that no, no, no. We said it was shady, but no, it's not shady. Said no, it's not. It's not. Nah, it's not Todd's pulled the trigger. Todd, Todd don't... Todd's got full Todd. It's yeah, a homosexual Todd. jihad. I fucked one on Fallout Dude. New Vegas. Yeah. This, so, this, yeah, this Fallout maybe. doesn't just have 16 times. It's got 42 times. All right, Todd's all over this bitch. I don't think they will. I don't think they'll backtrack. Um, no, you're right. Todd... Yeah, the so the... Sorry, the nuke does happen at 2277. Problem is, like, uh, New Vegas takes place in 2281. So how can, how can the NCR fall apart before a game where they are hugely important? You can't. Yeah. No, that's like so how, simple mathematics. How could, like, can you count? It can't. Look, at this is here's the problem we're running into, and I'm going to try to explain this as easy as possible, right? Shady Sands is the capital of the NCR. It's the capital of the NCR during New Vegas as well. It gets nuked four years before New Vegas. Then somehow gets completely rebuilt. Okay. And, and then like New the Vegas bombs. would happen. And then so for some reason after that, then the city, the same nuke, apparently the city's gone. So the city would have to be rebuilt and destroyed. But Twice. there's no other. Yes. But the thing is, it, it, it can't happen that way. The the way the show works is has to be destroyed before before New Vegas. So there's nothing about the Hoover Dam. There's none of that. Nothing can happen because the point of NCR getting the power was for Shady well, Sands. Actually, it was for when, the entire group. When was the first battle of Hoover Dam? Because the one that we do in the game is the second battle. I don't I don't remember the first one is the first one with Joshua Graham where they um set him on fire and throw him off and all that shit because the the legion lost that battle it, it may i think it may even it may even wreck on that because again yeah because i mean if they won the first battle of mm -hmm. hoover dam so what they're sending electricity back to a fucking city that's been nuked and not there and why and then why are they still searching for unlimited like they're searching for an unlimited source of power also, the Enclave had an unlimited source of power and then never used it. I never they just used had it, it sitting around. 
vault tech had it and just had it sitting somewhere. They basically, so vault tech buys the company that created this unlimited source of power and then buys it to just leave it around, leave it hmm. sitting so that the two world factions go after each, like the Chinese and the Americans kill each other over the resource, resource wars to fucking like cause the war. Like the, the, it's, so the whole thing is them basically being like, we need there to still be a war so that we can sell vaults because that's our entire. Yeah. Yeah. That's the whole point. They even show so it. They start a fallout four. So they, they literally buy like an unlimited source of power. It's like you turn the thing on, it'll never turn off. And then they just leave it out in the open when they are the ones that start the war. You wouldn't think somebody would go pick that up and be like, yeah, why don't we throw this in like a vault somewhere for us? No, they just leave it around. And then the woman who makes it, who apparently lives for 200 fucking years with no health problems, nothing. She goes from looking like 43 to 45. That's the only difference, apparently, in 200 years. Uh, is able to just get it going again and then dies. And now the Brotherhood of Steel have it. Thanks, Todd. Well, I've often said, I've said, I'm going to reiterate, and I've said this many times. I believe spite can be a good thing. If you can use spite to make yourself better, fuck yeah. I'm all for that. Spite is good. Okay. But there comes a point where you're like, okay, there's way too much salt going on here. We're just going full fucking retard. Come that seems Todd. to be what Todd did. Todd's been sitting down looking at new. When did that game come out? 2010? 2009? No. Eight, I think it's eight. Seven eight. was three, and then eight, I think eight was New Vegas. So this dude's been fucking sitting down for like 15 years or whatever, <laughs> fucking yeah. just dwelling in his head, his fucking revenge, sitting down going, Jihad, Jihad, and I'm sitting here, and I'm fatwa, I'm fatwa. You know, he's been sitting down fucking dwelling in his head. All these fucking years, and he's gone to the stage where he's like, I'm going to destroy it. I swear, if it's the last thing I do, I'm going to fucking destroy this thing. I will, and I don't I care will who kill the final franchise the just despite the, the fucking obsidian. That's what I think. Mm. And then, if I, if I ever got to that stage, I'd fucking kill myself. If I ever became that much of a salty bitch, I'd fucking end myself, man. I would do, as you say, the fucking um, Shawshank Redemption old man. The rope. Yeah. Mm. Fucking so bad, fucked. Hey, the the thing really that would have made it even worse for Todd is that Ford isn't even considered one of the goats, right? So when yeah, Ford everyone looks out, at Ford. Ford says, "I'm just gonna go play Vegas." Yeah, to, I, I was, or they I heavily think, mod it, or they mod the yeah, fuck people. out of it to the point where it's not even recognizable. Oh well, there's a fucking new game, Fallout London or some something, and people say that mod, that, yeah. mod, that mod has a better story than Fallout Four. That's what people are saying, right? They're like, oh fuck. Uh, but yeah, so that would have added extra salt to the wound, I think, because he was probably hoping that that game would be like considered the goat one, right? But no, there's nothing respectable about this. There's nothing respectable about this. This is the equivalent. Imagine if someone looked at Berserk and said, "Well, I wanted to do something like that, but Berserk was better," and then he got handed the keys to Berserk and just said, "Nah, the whole thing was a fucking dream." Hmm. That's there's going nothing to be. respectable about this. Get the, don't don't no no. <laughs> Ah, oh, stay bitter, Todd. What a piece of fucking shit. Yeah. All they had to do was say it's not canon. Yeah. You Why know what I want? can't wait? Because it's I the same for... story. It's the same story, man. You can't just pick and choose. That That's not how canon works. The chibi shit and berserk. It has to. It has to... Fucking shit. But Look, we have like, to take it. Like, here's the thing. It, it doesn't have to be I Die, a Rex sequel. And none of the Fallout games are direct sequels from what i remember maybe the brotherhood of steel ones I'd, i'm not too clear on those two uh one of them has been decanonized the the what not fall tactics brotherhood of steel just the brotherhood of steel one that one is fully decanonized you can't buy it anywhere it's they don't even mention that game existing because it was not good it was done by another studio they licensed it out and it was done badly um, but that was theirs to destroy. That's theirs to get rid of. It's yeah, like, you didn't have anything to do with Vegas. And, and here's the thing, too. Like this it's, is Disney um, saying EU never happened. Well, yeah, and here's the thing. Like there needs to be cons like I'm sorry, it, Vegas does have to be associated with four and three and two and one and tactics and 
And it's 76. more of a sequel to Fallout 2 than it is to Fallout 3, Vegas. Yeah, it's it's yeah, that and one. Yeah. It's more in that vein. But here's the thing, it needs to be associated because the world has to be the same. We have to it's the same series. These events are taking place, yes, at different times, but it has to flow well together. You can't just have fucking yeah. like for example, you can't have like Return of the Jedi be like, well, and then like Luke decided to pick up like paragliding it, it during uh uh you know the Empire Strikes Back. We just did we just forgot to tell you about it until now. Like you can't have that happening. That's it it ends up affecting the other games as well. And it's the and delusion that's what to think that Todd holds hey, where the fuck have you been for 15 what? years? Yeah, you are spastic. Dude, Holy what? shit. Have you not seen any of the interviews or anything? You absolute fucking dude. Cunt. It's obvious. It's not just oh, Todd. There's dude. other people who worked at Bethesda at the time mm -hmm. who hold a grudge. Oh yeah. They feel like they got showed up after they put out Fallout Three. Fallout Three, great game. New Vegas, arguably better. Dude. And they feel like they got showed up, and they're angry about that. They're pissed. It's Wait. clear. <sighs> Uh, da, 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 da. Lethal said jihad three times in a row and summoned me here. What's his name, Oz? Allah Liga, the talented tourist. The talented tourist. The talented tourist, mm. man. A jihad on Turbo Fox. A jihad. A jihad. A, that it. I, I'm sorry, Turbo Fox. That is a fucking dog shit. That man. is fucking retarded, dude. Yeah, you can, you can say Fallout 4 is better, you can like... say the show's fine, whatever, but to think that, that's fucking retarded. Yeah, that's holy stupid. shit. That's fucking stupid. Tell me you haven't been keeping shit, up. Dude. Jesus Christ. That's like fucking Timothy Zahn saying that he doesn't look down on other Star Wars writers. Like, yeah, he that's fucking like, does. That's like that's <laughs> like saying Hitler had a pro didn't have a problem with the Jews. Like, like literally, like like something so obvious that we all agree on, and you're like, you know what? I feel like being a contrarian about this. I feel like just being. I woke up today, decided I'm just gonna be a fuckwit. I looked at my mother and said, "You carried me for nine months just so I could go and say I don't think Todd Howard ever had a problem with Fallout New Vegas." He I thought it was great. It. Yeah, yeah, Todd, I love Vegas. Professor praised it, right? He she loves you the a fucking apology. You owe your mother an apology. She yeah. carried you for nine months just so you could go and say that. You better call her up right now. Yeah, call her up right now. Call her up right now. Everyone apologize. check. Go call, your, go call your moms and apologize right now. Call the doctor that gave birth, that helped your mother give birth. Call your dad because yeah. you failed him. The yeah, fucking yeah. lunch lady at school, call her up. You owe her an apology. Her third grade science teacher. <laughs> Everyone, everyone, man, your friends, your friend, your neighbor, well, who is your friend, you as say a kid, shit like that. That's the type of shit you say to your friend. Your friend goes, I don't want to be around you anymore. Shut up, <laughs> yes, shut up. Your priest, just call everyone you've ever had contact with your, your girlfriend in high school. Like, you call them all up, you gotta apologize to everybody. Yeah, wow. <sighs> Oh boy. Yo, Wait, Todd. is that Todd Howard? Are you really Todd Howard? Is that a Todd Howard fucking alter game? Oh, let's go. <laughs> I always oh, like it. What are you talking about? Redfall's oh, no. pretty cool. We're going to put it on sale. It's going to come back. Everybody's going to love it. Yeah. We're coming back, guys. Got a great update. Um, I just realized how long we've been going for. There's no way we're getting through everything. There's no fucking way. I went a little spurgy on the Fallout <laughs> show, boys. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. I think everyone went a little fucking. Spicy. I went final. I went final boss on Fallout. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mama, 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 Mama Howard. Mama Howard. Is it possible that Todd Howard doesn't know what canon means? Uh, it's um, entirely probable. Maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, anyway, uh, Fallout 4 is getting its next gen update. It's, it's, it's happening. Let's go. No one, no one asked. No one gives. Oh, a cool. <clears throat> but you, this is a great time to announce it. When... 
I mean, actually, it is a smart time to announce it. Yeah, but dude, no um, one. But also, it's like Fallout Four doesn't look bad. Like I can't. Yeah, I, I thought Fallout Four, four, four still fine. looks fine to the by today's actually, standards. I think it actually looks all right. Like it's still it good. Work. Like the problem with Fallout Four isn't the graphics. It is entirely like the new dialogue system. I think the story's a bit munted and shit. I, I did not like the dialogue system. Um, I found that like the options it would give you didn't really reflect what your character was going to say. Yeah, they would just say the one thing. It would say like it's going to say something like this, and then it'd be you know like uh, oh I'm I'm sorry your son died or some shit, and then you'd be like professing your love to the character. It's like the, well, there's no like, mention yeah. of their dead son. The option would say here? something along the lines of like, oh, I'm sorry that happened to you. So you'd click, I'm sorry to happen to you. And then it would say, I'm sorry that happened to you. Shame it didn't happen earlier. And you're like, whoa, what the fuck? That's yeah. not what I was trying to say. You piece I'm ashamed that happened to you. I wish you fucking died, you piece of shit. Hey. And then Preston Garvey's just staring at you crying. <laughs> Okay. All right. Um. So yeah, you're getting the next gen update, but I think there's a few things that are, are coming with it. Okay. On top of workshop items. Oh yes, Bethesda's mod workshop. Let's fucking go. Enclave weapon skins, Enclave armor, Tesla cannon, Hellfire power armor, uh, more power armor, and heavy incinerator. The Enclave's back, baby. I told you. The piggy bank. Mm. The piggy bank. There we go. But no, that is actually like a, I know you kind of touched on it just before, but with the show being canon and making the changes it did. Yeah. Do you think they're going to kind of start? Because surely, man, like I know they have Elder Scrolls to do first. And who knows? Who I know knows? they are I working know, but on five. Uh, they, they, yeah, they, they said they it. were working on five and that mm. Todd came out and basically said like, there were things that, you know, we had to make sure that they weren't going to do for when we do Fallout 5. Yeah. Like, it, and so he confirmed, well, obviously, we all knew there was going to be another Fallout game. Like, that's some, yeah. Well, that's didn't like, Todd say that aspects of Fallout 5 were in the show? Uh, well, guess... Maybe some yeah. minor aspects, but no big story beats. Unless yeah, he, they he decide kept... to change that now. But at the time, he yeah. said no big story beats, and, and he wanted to make sure that the stories were different. He doesn't want the yeah. story to then be in the TV show, and then he wants the TV show to effectively be like its own game, which again is okay if that show's actually good. Which well, again, like you keep saying, it seems like it was actually decent right up until these massive retcons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All they had to do was just stay out of major areas. Just have it be like its own Fuck little it. side quest that's got nothing to do with nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Dumb fox. Or if it is a big event. Have it away from other big events, you know, or do a different it, fucking Yeah, you're time. in the future. Like, you're in the future. You don't... All you have mm -hmm. to do is make sure the past is the same. You can do whatever you want going further ahead because you are the farthest thing. You're the latest thing in the timeline. If you put things by chronological year, this is, like, current year. Everything else is in the past. So you had the liberty that, in that sense, to do everything. But I think Bethesda kind of step well we know bethesda was involved in the show obviously but i think they stepped in a little bit more and did things i mean yes amazon the people who wrote it james nolan i'm not letting them off the hook but i think there's enough there to stay that the biggest problem was bethesda sounds like a ongoing theme with them yeah we're definitely not gonna hit all the topics we're definitely not gonna hit all the topics man we're yeah. still on the first one <laughs> <laughs> all so, right so I'm now sorry. guys fallout one is is still on sale let's talk about that yeah it's about pull up mm. oh man i'm sorry chat we are not going to get to any oh, of Turbo the fucking Fox. topics is every it's all of this about the 2077 thing well one you don't even know what it's about because it doesn't it's not 2077 that the place you know sh shady so shores gets nuked that's when the fucking war happens you know, so you don't even know the fucking timeline yourself. So yeah, I don't know why you're gonna. What are you trying to argue? So I'm How convinced you that it's out? Todd Howard. Yeah, no, but yeah. the thing is, his argument makes no sense. So you don't give a fuck about Fallout then, if you don't like, if you're. You don't know what you're talking thingy. about. Why the fuck do you care? You're. He's two hundred years off. He's two hundred years off. He doesn't care. You don't He's actually give a shit. 
No, yeah, shut the but fuck. fuck. Oh, wait, it's just here. a thingy. It's just a thingy. Why are you... Yeah, it's just a little thing. It's just a little thing that all those, that city got nuked, you know? Come on, Literally a mistype. A okay, well, you know what? Your mom's I still a mistype. think you're a fucking idiot. I don't care if it was hey, a mistype. Fuck, let's be honest. You're one Macca's meal away from having a stroke, you piece of shit. You've been saying that to everyone lately. I yeah, to that's say true. He keeps friends. messaging me. <laughs> Happy oh, birthday, Moz. Can we get happy birthday, Moz, in the chat? Oh. oh, it's a shame Nazma wasn't here for this. I feel like he's got some words to say. Yeah, oh, chat, man. like I said, I apologize. We are not going to get to any of the topics. There's no fucking time, but let's keep going. Oh, I hate all that shit anyway, Cream, says Boss Hog. <laughs> yeah, but Boss Hog sucks <laughs> Sony dick. <laughs> He sucks Sony cock. Every time he opens his mouth, it smells like Jim Ryan's fucking crusty cock. No, you know what? He said 2077. Now I want to start hating on Cyberpunk. Let's get it. Let's go. You already do hate Cyberpunk. Yeah, let's start hating on it again. Bring it up. Yes, Naz, I see you in the chat, but I want to hear your beautiful voice. Oi, it's fucking me and Nazma. Fuck this fucking Fallout show. I fucked Todd Howard. I fucking ravaged the motherfucker if I ever see that piece of shit. It's me, fucking Nazma cunt. I don't Why did he become Glaswegian? He always was. Oh, I knew it. All right, Lofty Beardo with the 499. Thank you very much. Can you please read it, Moz? One sec. One fucking sec. What are you doing? What the fuck's a fatty bear's birthday surprise? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> fatty <laughs> bear's birthday surprise. I just got gifted a game called Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprise. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I Stop think that's a. I think shit. that's a Grog Squad video, boys and girls. Stop, Stop sending me shit. Mm. Moz, you're gonna have to. I got a gift for you. I sent one to Lethal yesterday. You gotta give me your fucking Steam. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We all need to play that. Can I get sent a good fucking game? Yeah, I'll send you one. All right. Fallout rankings five. Dot. Fallout one. Four. Jesus fucking Christ. Dot. Fallout New Vegas slash three. Dot. Fallout two <laughs> slash dot two. Dot. Fallout three. Slash dot one dot Fallout four dot lofty beard. How the fuck did you make that so complicated? I'm confused. I was... <laughs> wow, I know. Working right. Well, we found out who to... Turbo Fox is. It's Moz. It's his old. <laughs> it's old Moz. Dot slash slash dot oh. weird squiggly line. I have to play the fucking. <laughs> I have a week of playing pot pot. Leave me alone. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much, Lofty Beardo. Let's go through that again. Four. Yeah, that's definitely a Lofty Beardo take. Lofty yeah. Beardo. Oh, that's boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Though. What? That's the best version of Beardo. Can't get a better version of that one. What, the, the blackface? <laughs> nah, Lofty Beardo. Oh, it's not even <laughs> blackfacing in that one. Shit. Nah. Can, we, can we get black Beardo mm. emojis, please? Okay, yeah, we're definitely not going to get through everything. We're, um, we spent fucking 58 minutes... Fucking yelling about Todd Howard. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Oh, right. my God. Don't call me, you fuck. All right, let's just try and speed on, run Todd. some of this shit. Let's try and speed run some of this shit. Uh, you know that game Foam Stars? That fucking copy of Splatoon? It's fucking fell off a cliff. Oh, look, Boss Hog. A PlayStation game fell off a fucking cliff. Must be a day that ends with the letter Y, you piece of shit. Fuck you, Pot nah, Hog. I'm Microsoft, sucking my fucking gooch. Microsoft fucking, fucking um, they, they fucked it up behind yeah, the scenes. It was a Microsoft conspiracy. Mm -hmm. Microsoft teamed up with Nintendo to put a fatwa on this game because they knew it was going to destroy Splatoon. Um, fucking Todd Boss Hog's going to give you a hickey on your gooch. Uh, Boss Hog, man, I was thinking the other day, I'm like, I abuse him so fucking much, man. Hmm. I'm pretty boss mean Hulk's to boss crying Hulk. right now. Damn dude. you, Microsoft! I have, I have, damn you, Microsoft! <laughs> no stop. Oh man, I'm so mean to boss Hog, but he's such a fucking piece of shit. 
<laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, this game fell off a fucking cliff. Um, I think everyone who plays these types of games, they're all playing Splatoon. Nazma just sent me a sex game. The birthday message. Uh, mm, need to... You got sex with Hitler for birthday? What the fuck? Have you never heard of that game? No, it's not sex with Hitler. It's some <laughs> boot something. I don't fucking know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Spell it out. Spell it out. F-U-T-A-N-A-R-L or I? Okay. Okay. Yeah, Sex, okay, cool, cool. The birthday message. Yeah, cool. What the fuck? <laughs> but it's no good. I'm being sent sex games. <laughs> Guys, I think we should go to Rumble. Do you know what that so means, Do you know what that, word, that word, No, I do don't! Okay. Okay. Hello? Okay. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> All right, we got we really got to... Oh, <laughs> fucking boss. Happy birthday, boss. She said spell it out. What do you want me to fucking do? Yeah, 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 yeah. Happy, yeah. happy birthday, boss. Look, Can you I'll demonstrate you what, boss, what this is? <laughs> boss, I think you should play it. Record it. No, I'm don't upload like it. That. No, you're not the client. I can, I can it's probably a birthday censor gift. it. It's not even my birthday. Send me a good game. Fuck it's your happy birthday, Loz. We really got to speed run some of this shit. <laughs> um, I was actually hoping to go in depth on this one. So Battlefield 2042 Season 7 will be its last as a connected Battlefield universe enters full production. So EA this game's done. EA They're moving EA. on with the next one. Common Dice yeah. L. I hate Dice. I yeah. consider Dice to be the worst developers. I fucking have a gonna debtor. I'm going to be surprised. I, I'm surprised it made it this far. Like I think, I think everyone it, it you, forgets. You know, you know the worst you know, thing is history repeats itself. People, the yeah. Battlefield community is starting to actually like this game because the updates have actually made it somewhat likable, right? And now they're fucking abandoning it. And yeah. It always fucking happens. I swear to God, it's, EA... dice, it's a dice thing. It's Battlefront yeah. Two all over again. They'll put it like you said. They'll put out a game. It's completely fucked. Battlefront 2, look at Battlefront 2. Right at the end of its life cycle, people were saying, hold on, it took like two fucking years, but we're actually at the stage where it's decent now, okay? Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. And it had its highest player base ever, ever, including like just as launch, right? And what do they do? Pull what? the rug out and say, we're going to go make Battlefield. No, nah, they're going to bring back Hardline. I swear to God, guys, it's coming back. Yeah, Battlefield Hardline, the greatest Battlefield of all time. I've seen a tweet where this new season is fucked beyond belief on the netcode. Oh, yeah, guys. Nice. I was going to say, well, the, the one that everyone liked was season six. So I don't know what people are saying about season seven. But yeah, everyone was loving it, right? And now <clears throat> this. So what? You get a broken season and it's done. That's cool. Thanks. Thanks, Dice. <laughs> Thanks, Dice, but then they're going ahead to make their brand new one as well. Okay. And which is going to have a battle royale. Yeah. I hate Dice so much, man. Ooh. I get into arguments with people when I say Dice is the worst. Like, the oh, worst. No. I fucking hate Dice. Dude, you know the worst thing is? A futuristic first-person shooter is what people kind of need right now. Because think about it. We've had two years of modern uh, for COD, and they're about to go to, like, kind of the past, right? With yeah, they're doing, like, 90s, right? 20s. Uh, right. 90s, and, oh, sorry. Right. You, if they just really did a massive update of Battlefield, and, and people kind of want that futuristic fucking feel, that's kind of what you're missing right now in the first-person shooter realm. You know, they're dumb fucks. Well, and what are they going to do now? Are they going to do modern? People are sick of modern. You know, we're starting to get to that stage where it's like, oh, okay, modern oh, again. Vietnam. Dude, if we got another bad company, oh, God. that would be good. If they actually but, did it properly, they wouldn't. That's the thing. We'd get bad company in fucking three, and it would suck dog shit. Mm. And then it would, you know, it would be bad. Just all bad. Oh, boy. It's a sad state of affairs. And I completely missed this. My apologies. I missed this. Now, this is Norwegian money. I know that. Mm. I know it's Norwegian money. Um, no. Craig, you want to read it, please? All right. I was so, not it's disagreeing. It's Todd, because Todd's not from Norway. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Todd. Uh, I was not disagreeing with you, but the retcon being bad. Okay. I'm glad you are passionate about Fallout. 
Mm, that's not the only thing. That's I'm some Todd about. fucking space. I just, uh, I just find weird. Uh, people think Todd hates New Vegas. Well, again, I, I still, that's... I, I still stand by that. I, it's. I think there's enough smoke there to make the assumption that Todd does not like New Vegas. Uh, oh, man, we could we could do a whole fire. live stream on that. Yeah, we could. Just, just going through all the interviews where Todd, as soon as you bring up fucking Vegas, just looks fucking depressed, like his soul just left his fucking body. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you could yeah. just bring up all those. He does uh, the he does the thing where he's like, oh, you know, we're glad it did well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's glad it did well, but he wants it. it oh. He would have been glad it went did well if it was them who released it. You yeah. know, you notice he never really talks shit about the dev team that made Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah, it's it doesn't sell anywhere. You can't buy it or anything. But he's not. If someone brings it up, he's not going to be like, no. He'll bring up that yes, it was a mistake, and that's why we don't like to bring thing. You know, give Fallout like out of house. We like to keep it in house and stuff like that. But he's not like you would think because uh, again it does reflect well on Bethesda even though they had really nothing to do with the development of that game like literally nothing it still looks good on Bethesda oh yeah they should think man it would have just been and like as look, a publisher you know, they should be proud that they had a game be basically you know, one of the best uh, games of all time the um so they, there was a rumor this is kind of this um not part of fallout but there's a rumor the people that made vegas wanted to make a uh this like a skyrim type of game like the, in that universe as well and yeah. they well, just went no I they know, went out um, of bit they basically ran out of money i can't remember what his name is the fuck big time obsidian guy at the time of vegas <laughs> after vegas he was like hey we got ideas man for more fucking we got more ideas for fucking Fallout games, mm -hmm. and they got and every single one of them got shot down. Chris Avalon, oh. that's his name. That's his name. Chris Avalon. Yeah. Yep, that's his name. Well, he was the guy who was like, hey, "Man, we got we got mad ideas. We got mad well, ideas," and they were like, "Nah." Yeah. And nah. again, uh, again, Oblivion ended up running out of money, and there is the rumor that it had to do with being withheld bonus money. One. They were probably going to go out of run out of money anyways, even with that bonus money being given to them. If if that amount of money was going to be able to save their company, that's not true. They were they were they were kind of fucked anyways financially. But they can they fee. I think a lot of people from Oblivion feel like hmm. Bethesda put a boot on their neck and stomped. Hmm. Um, and so so whether that th that whether that's true or not. Um, there is bad blood but on both sides between Oblivion and Bethesda, and I think it's fair to say that Todd is one of the parties involved in that. He should have, you know, done that thing where it was like, hey, we put out Fallout 3, and everyone was like, whoa, and then they did Vegas, and then we stepped like, back and we're like, okay, now we have to one-up Vegas. That should have been the attitude. The, mm -hmm. Well, they had Skyrim come out. Yeah. Yes, it was in a different series, but Skyrim is one of the best-selling games of all time. Oh man, fucking Skyrim for your fridge when? Skyrim for your fridge when? Dude, Skyrim on my Samsung toaster when? <laughs> okay. Now, uh, we got fucking Naz. Naz, like, he has the link to join in every single time. Um, with the daylight savings ending, it's kind of fucked over Naz a bit, but yeah. Naz has open link whenever he can make it. Ever. He's also yeah, he's, he's also kind of, ill right now. He's also sick, but he's still man sending shit to fucking bring up as well, man. <laughs> okay, so here's the state of Battlefield 2042 in season seven. You know, the final season. The season they're leaving with us until the next dial. GG's dice. Oh well, let's go ahead and have a cheeky look. Thanks. <laughs> Hold on, what the f what killed him? Ugh. Ugh. That kind of shows you right there, actually, what just happened. I was like in the little garage, the round ended, and it backs me up out of the garage. There's your net code. Mm. Whoa. What the fuck? What? Mm. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with this game, man? That's the guy. How did he get over there? Hold on, this might be really cursed. 
That's it. Oh, no, you don't. What? That was a mad delay. Yeah. What? <clears throat> My God. Jesus. It's so what? sad to see Battlefield. Dude, Dude what is wrong day. with this game? Dude, this actually runs worse than Combat Master. Is it just doing it on West servers? Making them look like hackers. Oh my gosh! You see that? Look how terrible that is. What in the world? It makes it look like everyone's playing on like maxed out ping. Like, yeah. Oh, everyone has is nine, Holy nine, shit! Nine, nine, nine ping. What the fuck is wrong with this game? Yeah. I mean, just protected. Dude, this fucking get. What is happening, man? God, I hate this game. Dice, so fix love it. I love futuristic first-person shooters, especially the like the Black Ops Two. I think Black Ops Two, Black Ops Three is like the perfect fucking futuristic, right? And that's what Battlefield Twenty Forty Two was meant to be, like a Black Ops Two version of Battlefield, right? And they just fucked it, absolutely dropped the ball. They could have been big time if they got this right. One hundred eighty-eight milliseconds. Jeez. This guy just now, teleported now out of the box. Now I'm looking at myself prone on the ground. That's rough. Oh, dude. That's me. That's me prone looking this way because the game makes sense and is good. It works. Not what in a down doing? position. I am. I am prone. I am now playing a third-person battlefield shooter. Hmm. Third-person battlefield right now. Mm. Two, one. Oh, there we go. Dude. Get this garbage out of the video game. And now I die to a guy that's already dead on the ground. Dude, what? Nah, dude, this game's, I mean, broken more than it normally is. It's actually on place. Like, that, that is literally... An unplayable game. Oh, I agree. I agree. Bye bye, dice. Oh, Dude, dice. The, day dice, the day dice shuts down. Mini party. Mini party. I mean, it's a. Oh, dice. Get I the mean, like, rolls out. Oh, dude, I feel like I used to love dice so much. Like, I, the old Battlefield games, I used to play those more than COD. Oh, dude! It Especially be, Battlefield um, Three. I, that's one of my favorite FPS games of all time. I fucking love when, Battlefield Three. But mm, no, man, this is not. When, like at least fucking COD works most of the time. Yeah, right. Like, and dude, Battlefield. It used to be Battlefield versus uh, COD towards the end, right? After Halo kind of slipped down a bit, it was have COD versus Battlefield, and that used to be the fucking coolest shit on youtube right like battlefield people just yelling at cod people it was awesome it's like the best shit but now battlefield people just have to shut the fuck up it's like your game is significantly worse like you don't even you haven't had a good game in years like battlefield one was okay right it was okay um but and then before battlefield one what did they have fucking battlefield hardline um so battlefield people just have to shut the fuck up now it's sad Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Mm, there we go. Lofty Beardo with the dollar nine nine. Thank you very much, Lofty Beardo. New Vegas is a seven point six on the Beardo scale. Nice. Hmm. And seventy six is a nine point one. I yeah. this isn't a real Lofty Beardo because be he would have had it lower than seven points. Yeah, I think he would have had it a bit lower. Mm. Would have had it a bit lower. Oh, maybe not. There is quite a lot of gay characters in Fallout New Vegas. That's true. So, yeah, maybe. Mm. Some and, of them are black. As we, as we know, you know Lofty is gay, gay, and he's a big fa fan of Friends, and the fact that, uh, you know, What's-His-Face was in the show, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or in the, in the And he also game. watches a lot of Ellen DeGeneres, and he went on Ellen to talk about it. Yeah, exactly. Actually, <laughs> Lofty Beardo jerks off the Ellen DeGeneres episodes. That's he likes true. the That's dancing. So it makes him feel something in his loins. Okay. Um, all right. We got a little bit more time left. We are definitely not getting through everything. <laughs> it's been an hour fucking on this TV show. It's bad. Wait, <laughs> oh, Pac-Man's getting a Battle Royale game. 
Uh, sorry, the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> Wait, what? I said, oh, hey, Ma, it's Pac-Man Battle Royale. It was bad enough that fucking uh, Tetris got one. Now fucking Pac-Man's got one. Wait, there's Ow. a... T Wait, when did I miss the Tetris Battle Royale? What is happening? Tetris got a... Yeah, it's called Tetris, like, something, something. But yeah, there is one. The Battle Royale! It's not a Battle Royale, it's just a fucking multiplayer game! It's a Battle Royale! I guess if you want to call it that. Chop him down! I'm gonna chop him down! Oh shit, Doug P. Doug P. Fresh is winning, dude. It just reminds me of Fall Guys. Like the, the customization, anyway. It's a battle royale, boss! I, um... I fucking hate life. How much does this cost? $80? <laughs> I, oh, I don't know, actually. I don't think it says. Oh. It's a battle royale, boss. It's a Pac-Man oh, battle no. royale. You're not I kidding. can see the Gronk squad. I can see the ground. Oh, we're doing video full guys. We're doing Among Us and we're doing that. That's a battle royale, boss. Yeah. You love battle royales. It's your favorite genre. <laughs> I'm giving up Tarkov the baby. 20 bucks. It's 20, 20 bucks. bucks. It better not be. I'm giving up Tarkov the name Battle Royale Pac Man. You That's should. Fun. It's just so better than fucking Tarkov. Yeah, Tarkov's a piece of shit. Oh, a battle yeah. royale. <laughs> Oh, oh man! Oh, dude! Shit! Um, hmm. I just got a gift of the game called Super Hot. I'm scared. <laughs> Tell us that. Read the description of it to us. It actually. Oh, I right, hold up. I think this is an actual game. I think he's yeah. actually sent me an actual game. Hey, Moz! Happy birthday! He's a good futuristic first-person shooter. Your dog. Oh, okay. I think he actually sent me a good game. The Who? fuck? Extra dumb. Yeah, that's super hot to read. Wow, maybe, maybe, maybe he's trying to be nice to you. Maybe he sent you Pup Putt because that's a good game. Too. Yeah, a real piece of shit. So, just a reminder to everybody over on the Gronk Squad channel, we have entered, we have officially entered Pup Putt Week. Let's fucking go. Today, today is Friday, so the Friday video will be Pup Putt. We're, are we doing a, we're doing a hell diver stream later though, aren't we? Okay, yeah, so, so all the videos will be pop pop. So Friday's video today, which is in nine minutes, pop pop. Monday's video, pop pop. Tuesday's video, pop pop. Wednesday video, pop pop. Thursday video, pop pop. Friday video, pop pop. You guys wanted it. You guys bullied the fuck out of Mozart to make this happen. You are getting six. Days straight of pop, pop and I think videos. part of the agreement isn't it that we have to fucking play Fall Guys with them next Friday on stream? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I've downloaded Fall Guys to play with him. You better pop, pop, baby, pop, pop, and that does mean that in eight minutes, Mozzo goes pot, pot, back to pop, pop. This is, is bigger than the Super Bowl. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> Is there anything you want to tell us about this video, Moz, that's coming up? This is the... Uh, by the way... Yeah, go on, Moz. I fucking hate Extra Dom. Uh, by the way, this you is said the you end. like him for getting you super hot. No, I didn't. I said he's a piece of shit. Um, he's a piece of shit because he bought you a good game? You fucking hate him. Um, This is the end of the first game. Oh, Okay. We yeah, made it so through the first game. If you run I out got, of putt putt games, we're gonna have to find you more to play to fill the week. I got, I got, uh, I got three games left. So you got, you got, you got to finish three Stop games. Stop calling him extra dub. It's not extra, extra dub. dub. Extra, extra dub. dub. Extra dub. Yeah. Wow. Nothing but L's. Extra dub. It has nothing but L's. Oh man, extra dub. Uh, now this Why do you is... hate me so much, Trisha? Thought we were homies. What the fuck? Mm. I want to dedicate this video that I'm about to play to Extra Dub. I'm going to put us backstage. We'll be right back. This one's 100% for our boy Extra
That's extra the dub. He's the goal. The goal. Every the time extra dub comes shit. in, we're all going, yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Um, da -da -da. Cream, do you have any yes. creams coming up? I don't know. Well, <laughs> just stay tuned and find out. Stand by and stand down, folks. Uh, I will put my uh, YouTube link in the chat. That's the best place to be looking. Uh, mm -hmm. I do have something I'm working on. Um, I think I'm doing that tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, check my yeah, check out my YouTube. We'll, I'll put the uh, I'll put the first episode of the thing I'm doing up there as well. I think. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. Then, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, Moz? Uh, I'll be streaming um, Apex Monday. Um, probably 11 a.m. Australia. Why are you sad? Sit up. Um, no, Moz, you're forgetting about Putt Putt Week. Come oh on. Oh, my God. He just gifted me something else. Yeah. I hope it's sex with Hitler. <laughs> okay, Moz's face. <fine. laughs> <laughs> what is it, Moz? Tell us the game. I'm beating Ollie Ford. This was not the part of the deal. The no, if time. you run, no, Moz, if you run out of putt putt games, we gotta fill putt putt week. You're gonna have to. Play yeah, we gotta one. fill putt putt week. Yeah, you do need the very first putt p. So this is the first game. I didn't even beat the first game. You're a fucking piece of shit, Moz. You <laughs> haven't even beaten the first game. You haven't held up your end of the bargain. Oh, Think about that, Moza. You have seven days. To record put, put, and upload. Okay. You have seven days put, to record put, and upload it at all, Mozza. It's the ball is in your court. If you want to, if you want lethal to have to play Fall Guys, and you want Stalker too, I mean, come on, Mozza. Yeah, I want fucking yeah. two hundred dollars. Finish the story, no. Moz. Yeah, you no, gotta no, finish you the story. Happy birthday, Moz. Dude, Happy pop, birthday. Pop, finish pop. the story, bitch. Pop Pod's fucking game. The, the, the first game is called Pop Pod joins the parade. The fuck yeah. Yeah. That's important. Game. He wants to go to the parade. Finish the story. Seven Moz. days, Moz or else. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm a fucking shit on you, Ben. The fuck? Sorry, Moz. I can't talk right now. I'm busy. Yeah, sorry, Moz. I'm it's busy. not my Happy fucking birthday. birthday. Moz. Happy Moz, birthday. We have, remember, Moz, the deal is you have to complete everything that's given to you, and it all has to be uploaded. This time, next Friday, in seven days. We will be just about to premiere the final episode of Pup Pup over on the Gronk Squad channel. Should be the if final <laughs> series. Yeah. He just sent me he... Sex was Hitler 2069. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Moz, that's the deal. And you agree to it. And this is the start of it, man. Finish the story. Or you have Moz. to play Sex with Hitler for the rest yeah. of your life. <laughs> and Cream's going to come out with a belt that says Mama Moz and he's going to beat the shit out of you. Yeah, him. Mama Moz. <laughs> Look at it. It's covered in your son's blood. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Mr. Bad Hand with a $2 super chat. Can you please read it, Moz? <laughs> You won't understand the other games, Moz. Play it. Yeah, you gotta do the whole fucking. You gotta finish the story. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, understand the other yeah. you think you think people are mad at New Vegas being retconned? Wait till they retcon Putt Putt goes to the fucking Derby or whatever yeah, the dude. fuck it's called. Yeah, Putt Putt gets down and dirty in your mom's b hole. Yeah, there's only, gonna be I'm blood like, in the streets. I'm only I'm only doing the week. I'm only doing the week. Well, Moz, no, you, you got to gotta finish yeah, yeah. it. You got to finish it within the week, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Yeah, I've got the I got the four games that I have to beat. No. That's the deal. That's the deal. Yeah, yeah. You as long as it's done. Yeah, but you missed the first one, so you gotta you gotta play no, that. No, too. no, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, Moz, listen. Seven days. This time in seven days, we will know if you have completed the deal and finished your story. I gotta beat. <laughs> or, or, or or or. If Cream comes out with a belt that says Mama Moz and beats the fuck out of you with it. Oh, I, see, I, I, will, two well, what is the deal I will again. get I need to be fucking retold. Fuck. So, I'm going to fucking have, purchase it, a belt. Do I, have to beat, do I have to beat every game that I, like the board that I own? Or can I just make fucking. You got to finish the series. How many, but wait, how many games are in the There's like 19. Series? There's like no, 19. Okay, so maybe not that. that. 
How many well, do you have left to complete, Moz? Well, I just got fucking set a new one. That's cheating. Now, how many do you have? Okay, so I've got, I've got, th with with the new one I just got set, I've got four more. So which games okay, do you that's have? That's four games, games in total, titles. right? Yeah, you got to finish all four of them within five days. Oh, uh, yeah, and so they have to be game... uploaded. But which ones are there? There's Putt Putt joins the parade. Putt Putt goes to the moon. Putt Putt saves the zoo. Putt Putt travels through time. Putt Putt enters the race. See, you started on the fifth game. You started on the fifth one. Putt joins the circus. You fucking piece of shit. Putt, Fuck you. Putt Putt heads as far as I'm concerned, it's the best one it's done. So you got to play through one through four. Mm. Moz, well, can go you please read this super chat from our boy, Extra Dump? Deal was. Beat goes to the moon for Stalker 2. Beat them all, and you get the ultimate version. That's you, way oh, that is true. And if you beat them all, some people said they'll pitch in for it as well. Yeah. You better pay. You have a whole group money. of people coming together to support you. Oh yeah. No, to... no, they're not. They're fucking laughing at my pain. The fucking <laughs> pathetic cunts. <laughs> ain't no fucking support. Was. This is no, the dude, worst supporting you through ever. your hardship. Oh, but so that's the deal, Moz. That's the deal. All right, boys and girls, pot pot's about to start. Um, we're also going to be live on Gronk Squad later today as well. Okay. So on that note. We'll see you all in Pot Pot. The stream is going to raid. Let me just turn that down so you're not hearing that. The stream will raid into Pot Pot. And Moz, play us out. Fuck you all.